What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I'm going to do the second video in this series on building a rain catchment system. Now we need to protect our IBC tote from the UV rays of the sun. So what I've done is I've bought some some shade cloth from my local hardware store and these these rivets, these plastic rivets. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a, a uh, kind of a tarp almost that protects the this thing from the damage of the rays. Now, uh, over time, plastic will break down with exposure to sun, and we don't want that to happen. The second thing we don't want to pre prevent is growth of algae inside of our tank. So that's the purpose that we're working on today. Now, the first thing I've already done is kind of cut the cloth to size. Um, I got a roll of 6 feet by 20 feet, which is more than enough to build this. Um, so I've, I've kind of cut this. Now the next thing, and just kind of wrapped it around and then I'm going to make a top piece for it. But that comes later because I have to, to put a hole kind of in the middle. But um, next thing I need to do is put some rivets on here so I can use zip ties and close it up. Okay, so the way to connect these, it's going to be hard for me to film this while I do it. So I'll just show you. Up here, um, there's a male piece. And a female piece and so what you do is you take the male piece you put it underneath the fabric and then you take the female piece and put it on top where the male piece is with the shade cloth in between now you need not like I'm doing here but you need to leave some space from the edge and then you take a hammer and you just pound them together until they they snap together and then basically you take a a knife and cut out the cloth in between and so what I, my idea here is to get this in position like so and since we've got some extra cloth on the top I don't really want to cut this because um, I don't need to really uh, this isn't really terrible for looks the extra cloth will just help extra protection against the Sun so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put another rivet on the back side on this excess fabric and that's going to actually help hold it up over the rail. It's actually going to, going to make it a little bit better because it'll, it'll hold it up as well as hold these two pieces together. So I need to put, put one of these on the back side here and then I'll be able to zip tie them together. Okay, what I've done so far is <clears throat> I've uh, put a couple groupings of, of these rivets here at the seam. Uh, Two on each side, or you know, one on each side to, to hold it up right here, and then a couple zip ties to connect the two. But so basically, there's four pair, you know, four rivets total here one here, one here, and so on down. Uh, I put them on most of these metal ribs just because they're an easy hammering location. So this is going to hold it nice and snug, uh, it's nice and stretched out, it's pretty uniform. So then around the rest of the top this is another pair of these rivets and then a couple zip ties holding it up so that it it won't sag down over time so I just have this one other side to complete and then the sides will be complete and I have a, actually a different idea now that I'm looking at this instead of having to go buy some more rivets because I only bought two packages which is 20 rivets uh, I may uh, elect to do something a little bit different on the top Okay, here's what it looks like so far. Looks pretty good. Everything's nice and tight and even on the sides. Um, and I, I changed my mind. I'm actually going to go ahead and use this, this leftover pieces and and we're going to um, affix a top piece um, on this. But uh, I need to wait till my wife can help me hold it and uh, so we can cut it with some scissors nice and even and make it look nice. Okay, so what I've done is I've cut a piece here on the top. Um, like I said, I changed my mind. I was going to build something out of wood, but my wife talked me out of it. Um, this will work. Uh, I've, I've basically just cut a piece that's, you know, hangs off a couple inches on either, on all the sides. I broke down and bought some more of these, these grommets. I think I keep calling them rivets, but they're grommets. Um, and basically I'm going to put them on the edges here and then loop them into the existing grommets that I've already snapped in around here. 
and uh, I may have to add some some extras for, for some of the corners just to make sure that the wind doesn't get up under it and whip it around but uh, anyway I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done okay mission accomplished the lid is on I've got a grommet in each of the, the four corners and then one at the middle of each of the sides I think this is going to be enough to hold it um, I've got a few more grommets left over if I absolutely you know if this starts if the wind starts picking it up but I don't think it will because it's it's screen material and it's pretty tough stuff so I'm gonna keep an eye on it the next thing that we'll need to do in the next video will be to we're gonna put a small hole in the middle here for the downspout to to connect in here and we will cut ourselves a little access door down here where the the valve is so that we can get the water out of it once we've captured it anyway i'm pretty pleased with the way this has turned out thanks for watching guys until next time